there are really three key financial statements that you're going to need to be able to work with in running a small business. The first is an income statement or a P&L, profit and loss statement. The second is your balance sheet. And the third are financial projections, so projections of how your financials are going to end up. Let's talk about the first one, your income statement. In, in any business, there are, there are five key components you need to know about when it comes to your income statement, the financial statement, and the profit and loss. There's your gross revenue. There's your cost of goods or cost of revenue. There's your gross profit. There are your operating expenses. And there's your net income. So let's just imagine it going top down. There's your, your gross revenue or gross sales. That's the total amount of money that your company brings in. So for the purpose of example, let's say that we sell, let's go back and say that we sell laptop covers. We're doing our laptop cover business. We sell laptop covers for $20, and they cost us $5 to, to purchase at wholesale. We sell uh, 10,000 of these in a year. So our gross sales are $200,000. That's the top line of our P&L for the year, of our income statement for the year. Our cost of goods are 10,000 times $5, so it's $50,000, right? So we had $200,000 of sales, but we had $50,000 of cost of goods. It just cost us $50,000 to buy the product that we then sold. We now have a gross profit of $150,000. But that gross profit is just based upon your total sales minus your cost of goods. Now you have all the operating expenses of the business. What are operating expenses? Those are things like salaries. Those are your rent. It's your supplies. It's your marketing. It's everything that you do to support the actual business besides the actual cost of goods. So let's say that it costs you $100,000 um, in operating expenses. Maybe you have $2,000 a month in rent. You've got you know, $5,000 a month in salaries, you got $1,000 a month in marketing budget, so you got $100,000 a year of operating expenses. You now have a net income of $50,000. That is the money that is actually flows to the bottom that you get to keep at the end of the year as a business owner. Now, as part of your operating expenses, you may be paying yourself a salary or not, you may be giving yourself a draw or not, but let's say you're not. That $50,000 then is the money that you get to keep to live off of and to reinvest in your business. So again, the five key components are what's your gross revenue, what are your cost of goods, what's your gross profit, what are your operating expenses, and what's your net income. We'll walk through it one more time. We sell laptop covers. We sell them for $20, and we had 10,000 sales. It means we sold $200,000. $200,000 came into the business and ended up at some point in our bank account. But of, those, of the, of the 10,000 products we sold, we owed $5 on each of them. So we had to pay out $50,000 in cost of goods. We now have $150,000 of gross profit. In addition, throughout the year, we paid for rent, we paid for salaries, we paid for marketing expenses. That all came out to $100,000. Now we have $50,000 of net income, which is what we have to keep ourselves or to reinvest in the business. And those are the five key components that make up any P&L and any income statement. And an income statement is based on any number of a period of time. So it's based on for the last month, for the last um, year, for the last three years. But you're always dealing in actual numbers, and you're dealing in going backwards. Your P&L statements and your income statements always dealing in going backwards. What's happened in the past, everything up until this point. Your balance sheet is a snapshot in time at this very moment of your assets and your liabilities and how they interplay together. So it's a simple snapshot that takes a look at your business and says, where the total amount of assets that I have, where my total amount of liabilities, and uh, looks at those different components. So the three components of the balance sheet, again, are your assets, your liabilities, and your shareholders' equity. And the rule of thumb is that your assets minus your liabilities equals your shareholder equity. Again, what the balance sheet does is it gives a snapshot in a period of time of 
the financial health of your business. And then finally, you've got a set of financial projections. Your financial projections are, is basically an income statement or a P&L on a go-forward basis. They're numbers that don't exist yet. So what you're doing is you're projecting what your key financials are going to be. And as far, part of your financial projections, you can have a snapshot on the future of a balance sheet. There's also things like a cash flow statement. But for a lot of our businesses, the income statement is going to be the key thing that we need to work with. And so your financial projections are on a go-forward basis for the next year, for the next two years, for the next three years. What am I projecting that my income is going to be? What am I projecting that my cost of goods are going to be? What am I projecting that my gross profit is going to be, my operating expenses, and then my net income? And when you go to any investor to ask for money, they're going to ask to see your financial projections for the year, two years, and three years going forward from there.